Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last video, I have shown you how to integrate images or pictures with your JSF web application. So when I run the program, it opens and you can see the background is like that. And we have also seen how to set this picture last time. And till now we have this application. So when I click this button, it goes to second web page, right? In this video, I will show you how to use managed bean with your JSF application. And I will also show you how to use uh, pure Java classes with your JSF web application. So let's get started. Till now we have this web application and in the last video, we have created this resources folder in which my images reside. So I have this second.xhtml and I have this index.xhtml which I have been showing you with the last video. Now I want to create a Java class to use managed bean. So what I will do is I will go to this source packages. I will right click it, go to new and I will click Java class. Okay. And you can give your Java class any name. So what can we get give a Java class name? So let's see. user for example and click finish so now i have this user class first of all i will create a managed bean so right at the rate managed bean and select this java x dot faces dot bean one okay which i'm selecting and you will notice it will automatically import the required imports so like here when you enter this it will import automatically this one and we will use sessions so i will write session scope and make sure it's java x dot faces dot bean import so don't click upper one but the lower one okay and it's imports the other import also now inside my user class i will declare a string variable so i will write private string and the variable name is name for example and I will also make a getter and setter method for this variable string variable so what is the easiest way to create the getter and setter automatically just right click this name and go to insert code this insert code and click this getter and setter and you will come to this generate getter setter click this one so because we are using user class that's why it's asking and we want to create a getter setter class for this name so that's why we need to take that and now click generate and it will automatically create a getter and setter method. Okay. And just remember this also. And now I will go to my index.xhtml which is my first xhtml page. 
in here I already have some code written so this is my form I will go to this form inside this form so I will go here below this this is the code which I have written last time so if you don't know where this code come from just watch the last few videos and I will go little bit down and in here I will create what I will create so I will create Mm. Uh, I will create this H colon input text and then I will give it a ID ID is not required but it's good give this ID and give it any value so I will write IP IP text because it's input text and give it one so this is our first input text okay and then I will define a value so value and here what you need to do is whatever class you have defined so we have user.java class right user.java so same copy this from here and go to index and yeah and make a hash sign and give up curly braces and inside your curly braces paste your class which is user class and if this class has first letter start with uppercase then make it lower so your class always start from lower case just remember that if even if it's uppercase in your class definition then also it's lowercase then we want to call user and the variable name is dot name so write this and just close this and the second thing we will do is command button and this also I will give it a ID even though it's not required in this video but maybe in later so I will name this as CBTN1 because this is my first command button no this is my second command button so I will name it CB2 and here this is the first I haven't given it a ID but maybe in future so it's good practice to give these IDs so we can differentiate between the buttons then we will give it a value so this is the caption which appears on it so you can say submit and then action and in the action what action do you want to perform we have seen last time so in this action if you give the name of the next x html file it will go to this html file when it finds a value so just copy the name of this second dot h x html whatever x html name you have and we will write here second 
and then we will close it okay so what this will do is when you click the button it will navigate to the second page notice here we are not validating our input text we just we are just simply going from one page to another okay and now go to your second page second dot html and in here we will define once again i will delete this welcome to the second page and i will define here first of all h slash form and close it and inside this form i will define h output text this one and you can give it id also so o t x t 1 and now here the value so value once again as the last time we have defined inside this bracket give hash curly braces and then user which is the name of your class with starting letter small dot name and just close it so now our code is complete what we have done is we have made a new java class called user we have declared a private string and declared a getter setter for it and in my index dot xhtml i have defined a input text and a command button and when i click this button it should go to the next page and whatever i enter here it should go to the next page so let's try and run the program so i have this uh, submit button and this text box and i enter something here so hi youtube and i press this submit and if you can see here whatever i have entered in my text box it appears here so maybe some other weird text and submit and it comes to the next page so this is possible with the java class and the managed bean okay so in this way you can use managed bean with your jsf application i hope you have enjoyed this video and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now